Well, today on Nation, we're talking about warranties. How do you warranty? Do you warranty? What's a warranty? If you do or don't, doesn't matter. Either way, stick around, stick tuned, stay tuned, whatever. It's WCR Nation. What's going on, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, WCR, of course. And uh, hopefully, also, because I'm your rep. Uh, I don't know what that intro was. It's just, it's one of those days. Already, it's starting off as one of those days. But what's going on? Uh, thanks for checking us out. If it's new, uh, if you're new, holy cow, uh, have a look around. I normally don't stumble this much on words, but uh, hopefully it's enjoyable. Go back and watch or listen to any episode. It's on anywhere podcasts are. It's also on YouTube. So go and listen or watch. And if it's one of you uh, cool kids, part of the nation, if you order all your supplies through me, what's going on? It is because of you that I get to have, you know, fancy things. Fancy things. Like brand name paper plates. But I do want to be your rep. And I am a rep for windowcleaner.com or WCR, window cleaning resource. Um, so if you have any supply needs, I'm your dude, man. I'm your man, dude. Or dudette. Uh, give me a call, 862-312-2026. Yes, every one of you who is listening. Uh, we have 150,000 views and listens. Um, I want to be a rep. So save my number, 862-312-2026. I am asking very nicely. But do, it's awesome to have a guy, right? You have somebody you can call, text, whatever, say, hey, I need this stuff. Put it in my cart, get it ordered, or hey, I, I put everything in my cart last night, put it in. And then at the end of this show, I'm going to give you a code for 5% off if you order through me. So stay tuned for that. A uh, couple quick shout outs. I just want to say what's up to David Scoville. What's going on, man? Uh, Brandon Evans, Aaron McCohen, and Mike the Glass Guy. What's going on, Mike? The coolest window cleaner in the industry. If you haven't checked out his stuff, just search Mike the Glass Guy. He's got videos. Uh, and he skateboards, and he's way cooler than me, so little jealous, little jealous. But either way, uh, let's get to the show. So this week we're talking about warranties, which is an extremely un awesome, uh, you know, thing to talk about. But here's the thing: if you're not offering warranties, I feel like you're leaving some business on the table. Let's just break down warranties for a bit. Just for a second. I'm going to try to not make this boring. But if you're not offering a warranty because you think you don't need it, you're, you're right. We don't really need warranties. But what it does is it creates consumer confidence. It makes them happy. It makes them want to order through you because now they have nothing to worry about. There's a lot of different warranties that you can put on your stuff, right? But if you're trying somebody new for the first time, a plumber or a electrician or your buying a new product, a lot of times people go, well, what's the warranty, right? Because that right there tells them that the product or service that they're buying is legit, that it's worth it, that it's so good, they're willing to warranty it. Now, if you buy something, right? You're like, oh man, this is a $100,000 car. I'm buying this. And they go, yeah, it's nice. Oh man. What's the warranty in this puppy? They're like, no, no warranty. There is no warranty. And none. You drive it, it's yours. That's it. You're uh, taking the gamble. Like in your brain, you're going, why is there no warranty? Right? You're thinking that. You're like, okay, it doesn't. There's got to be a reason. They, because if it, they did put a warranty on it, it would be so stinking expensive because this is a hunk of junk that that's why there's no warranty. Maybe people are thinking of that about your service. Maybe people are going, ah, I got to get three quotes because ah, I got to talk to my cousin because they got their windows done. I want to find out who they use. Ah, I have to get some referrals from other people because if it did work good for them, then that means that it was going to work for good for me, right? There's a lot of different reasons that people are going to not necessarily choose you, but there's a lot of reasons that you can help them, persuade them, let them know, hey, you're covered. You're covered. Uh, some of them for business are, uh, ours is a 30-day 
uh, here at WCR is a 30 day, uh, you can return anything within 30 days, it's new. If you get it and you're like, oh man, I didn't want this or it's not quite what I thought, you can send it back. We'll take it back, right? That is just like uh, warranties for uh, Keen. If you buy Keen shoes, Keen shoes have a lifetime warranty. I believe I still do. I'll go back to, I know for sure still, is that, um, uh, my gosh, what is my packs? Osprey. Duh, I have one sitting right next to me. Osprey bags. That's a lifetime warranty. Anything happens. Rips, tears, zippers. Send it back. They fix it. Send it back to you. Like that right there tells you that their product is so good, I'm willing to spend a little bit more money on it. Their product is so good that they warranty it forever. They say, this thing is so good, it ain't going to break. Right? And you can kind of implement that same kind of concept to services. And I know it sounds a little bit odd, but there are a few different warranty types that I do. And most of them, if not all of them, eh, all of them, are only there to create consumer confidence. That's it. Why? Because in the... 12 to 15 years that I've been doing these warranties on my work for my service company, I have had one person call me back and um, uh, it was because she thought she could scam me and and what everybody thinks is going to happen. I'm not doing a warranty. People are just going to call me and they're going to misuse it. You might, but in 12 to 15 years, I've had one. And I showed up and the windows looked amazing and I was like, there's no spots. Oh, I just thought because it rained, you'd come back and do it. No, I'd be out of business if that was the case, ma'am. Oh, oh, okay. And I left. Yes, it was a waste of time. But the point is, is the time wasted on that one job, I have made tens of thousands of dollars, if not more, because it created confidence for people. I know for a fact that I've had people that were, ah, you know what? It looks like it's going to rain uh, I'm going to go ahead and just reschedule the next year. I th- and Listen, I know it's going to rain. Uh, unfortunately, that's something we deal with. But because of our rain guarantee, if anything's spotted, we'll come back and make them look beautiful. You don't have to worry. We'll keep you on the schedule and we'll make sure that the uh, rain doesn't harm. Really? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, cool. Saved. I saved money. I'm telling you right now, tens of thousands of dollars. It is absolutely one of the most beneficial things you can do for confidence. Now, if you listen to last week, which I know you did, man, because you listen to all these, right? You're probably binging the episodes now. But if you listen to last week, Bobby Walker, who dropped a couple swears, second time on the podcast ever, there were swears, <laughs> or as my kids call them, cusses. Um, uh, he talked about um, doing um, packages. Packages are super valuable, right? That's one way you can increase people closing. You can increase your sales bottleneck, which was two weeks ago. We talked with Kurt Kempton and we talked about how can you sell more? How can you close more? The more you close, the more you do, the more money you make, the bigger or stronger or healthier your company is. And warranties is just one of those. Warranties will make you more money. Okay, there you go. If you're sold on warranties, now let's jump right into it. In the warranty side of things, I'm going to tell you my number one favorite warranty that I already talked about is a seven-day rain guarantee. Now, if you're listening or watching and you're on YouTube, comment down below. Please comment down below. That's like your due diligence, man. I create this content. The least you could do is thumbs up and comment. No, comment down below and tell me what your guarantees are. I want to know that because a lot of you have better stuff than I ever had and I want to see or hear that. But the rain guarantee is by far the best guarantee that I've had. And I'm gonna tell you, yes, that one person did call and wasted my time. But for everybody else, I have helped sell more jobs because of it. Now, there's something in business, especially service business, and I don't know if it's with yours, I'm just a dude with a mic, so I'm just telling you my experience. But uh, in my experience, our calendar, our schedule, is the most important thing for us to make money, because guess what? If for some reason you get an earthquake and everything's canceled that day, you make zero dollars. You made zero dollars that day. Tomorrow will always come, but yesterday will never, right? So you'll always 
lose that money if you lose it. So scheduling people and then having it possibly rain, which we all know it could say it's supposed to rain all day and then all of a sudden at 3 o'clock it rains for 15 minutes and that's about it, right? People get freaked out. People get worried and they say, well, I'm not going to wash my windows if it's going to rain. Same thing with car washes. People, and I'm not one of those, I will wash my car even if it is raining if my car is dirty because it's got to get the crud off it, right? But um, a lot of people then will call and be like, hey, I want to reschedule. And like I've said, I've had people who rescheduled. It was late in the season. They go, you know what? This is the weather now. We're just going to wait till next year. Well, next year's always going to happen. I'm always going to do them spring and fall. But I'm just losing hundreds of dollars now because they're worried. And I get it. But creating a seven-day rain guarantee will make people happier. They'll calm them down and... It's going to keep your calendar or your schedule actually working the way it's supposed to. Now, what happens if somebody did say, hey, seven-day rain guarantee, it rained, my windows look horrible, I don't know what happened, they're awful. And I show up and they look awful. Guess what? I'm going to redo them. Because it's only the outside and the windows are pretty clean anyway. What's the worst that could happen? I could just do a quick scrub and squeegee or a quick water fed and done. I don't have to scrub hard because I'm not getting off layers and layers of dirt. I just did that last week. It'll be super fast. You're talking maybe 20 minutes on a house. Maybe. I've never had to do it. <laughs> but what's the worst that could happen? I mean, there you get some water spots or if you got acid rain or really dirty trees or dusty something. It's just not a big deal. And I'm telling you, the money that you're going to save... Uh, the money you're going to make, the money that you're not going to lose is going to be worth it. Seven-day ring guarantee is huge. It just makes people a lot happier. Uh, another reason I have a seven-day ring guarantee is for snow. Now, I do not have snow anymore, and I'm very, very happy about that. Um, I'm now in North Carolina, but Wisconsin is where my main business was. And in Wisconsin, there's lots of snow, and it sleets, and it like just is gross. And the sloppier it is outside, the sloppier it is they assume it is on their windows. I'm telling you. If you have a day where all the snow is starting to melt, even if it hasn't snowed in a while, but it's starting to become spring and the snow is melting, people will assume it's just in their brain, ah, it's sloppy out out, don't do it. Ah, it's gross out. But the, the snow is not snowing, it's beautiful, sunny, we got to get those windows back. Nah, but it's all sloppy and gross. All that will splash up. No, nobody's ever stepped in snow and splashed all the way up onto a window, but... People think that. So to calm that, I have a rain guarantee. And the rain guarantee goes into snow. And my joking funny line is, is that uh, uh, I always say that we have a seven-day rain guarantee, but it's Wisconsin, so that rain could be snow. And we still guarantee it. That's like my little line. People go, oh, ha, ha, ha. That's when it's getting cold, right? Which, by the way, a lot of you have had snow already. That sucks. It is so snowy this year. It's going to be crazy. It's already, I think Wisconsin got eight inches, five to eight inches, like a couple days. It's crazy. But anyway, again, North Carolina. I had to wear sleeves today because it's chilly. <laughs> if anybody wants to come and visit North Carolina, it's great. Just come down. Uh, but that's warranties. That is your seven-day guarantee. That right there is gold. I'm telling you, people won't misuse it. I just am telling you. My spiel is... If the rain dirties your windows within seven days, I'll come back and touch them up and make them look beautiful, right? Nowhere in there did I say if the rain if it rains, I'm just coming back, right? Like some of the car washes say if it rains within X amount of days, you can come back at a free car wash. They know that even with that, a lot of people don't do it, right? And with that, it makes people get more car washes even if it's supposed to rain tomorrow. See why they do that? Makes a lot of sense. Same thing with windows. Um, again, if the rain spots them, I'm just going to go and detail them. Maybe if it's a couple spots on one or two windows, I might just pull out a towel and do it. Yeah, pain in the butt, but it makes it so much better. That's the rain guarantee. Do the rain guarantee. If you haven't done the rain guarantee, just do it. Just don't think, do it. This is like the been the past couple weeks of just doing, not thinking. We're closing the season down. Just close the season down hard. Implement it. Another one of the warranties that um, I use all the time is 100% satisfaction guarantee. Um, that right there is a spiel or a shtick or a something. But I always say, and some people have some really good ones. Again, comment down below what yours is. 
but I've heard ones that uh, the uh, uh, zero dollar or thousand uh, um, dollar uh, decree, and there's another one that says uh, you don't pay a dime till you're happy. Uh, if you're not happy, you won't pay anything. That kind of thing. And that's exact. People go, oh man, people are just going to say, I'm not happy. Okay, then here's what you do. When somebody says, oh, I'm not happy with this service. It's not what I want and I'm not paying. Then all you do is you say, okay, part, what, what part are you not happy with? And I'll go ahead and make that perfect. You just keep working until they're happy. There's no time when you're cleaning a window that somebody would not be happy and you would actually like lose the person after. You can't, like, oh, Okay, if you're not happy, what I'm, what, what, what can I fix? No, I'm just not happy. Okay, with what? What part of it? Right? So, yes, maybe somebody could scam you, but it makes a ton of sense because you're not going to leave the house or property or whatever until someone's happy. You're just not because that's your job. Your job is to make sure the job is done 100%. And we have a little check bar mark on our satisfaction form that says, are you 100% satisfied? And they check it. And we ask and we make sure because we have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Are you 100% satisfied? Because then guess what? I can then use that and say I had 850 customers last year. We did 850 jobs and all of them, because we get the sheet, signed that. Last year, we had 850 people who said they were 100% satisfied with our job. That's a huge marketing thing. But it really does mean something because you're going to make it right and you're going to make it 100%. And that's just the thing. Because for the most part, even if you don't have the guarantee, there's probably none of you out there, probably, who would do a job and the person goes, oh, this is awful. And you go, well, <laughs> all right. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, can you go ahead and write the check now? No, none of us would. It's already there even if it's not written down. So why not bring it up? Why not use it for our advantage or to our advantage, right? So putting out a 100% guarantee is just basically what you're going to do anyway. You're not going to leave a house until they're happy. So you're never going to have to pay the people the money or not get any money because of the guarantee. Never in history has anybody been so unhappy that we, we just gave their money back. You know, yes, uh, I've had text guys break stuff sometimes and something where I'd maybe give some money back, but it was never because somebody was so unsatisfied because we wouldn't have left the house. And even if we get callbacks, which is inevitably happens, then we go, oh, absolutely, we'll be out there today. A callback, I'm going to be there instantly because I'm going to be almost ashamed that it happened. If we're like, oh, well, uh, yeah, sorry about that, but uh, we're about six weeks out, uh, we'll be back, then it means you don't care, right? You're hoping they forget about it. But if you go, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, we have a free second in between jobs. We're going to come out there today. Uh, is somebody at the property or we get blah, 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 blah. We'll call you on our way. We're going to make everything happen to be able to get this taken care of. Because I do genuinely want people to be happy. Happy people refer. Refer is how you exist. Referrals are huge. So that's that rain. Uh, the 100% satisfaction guarantee. There's another kind of guarantee that I want to talk about in a different area, but it's a roof guarantee. And this one I've, I've had flack on, and this one is borderline insane, sort of. So we have a five-year roof guarantee that if I treat your roof and you get any streaking or moss or algae back, within those five years, you just call me and I'll come out and spot treat that area. That's big right but when you really look at it it got those people 10 15 years to get to the point where the roof was so bad and when you're talking about algae algae has to get up there right the spores kind of have to come from somewhere and if they blowing through the area heavier than not you might get some but it's not going to come back super fast and if they do they're usually light enough that no one notices them or even, you know, like why coupons exist or gift cards, why gift cards are such a big money maker. It's because eventually people will forget. Two, three years later, all of a sudden they may say it, like, oh, we got to get somebody else to clean the roof. They'll forget that you even had the guarantee. But if you put two companies together in anything, one of them's got a guarantee that blows you away. 
One of them doesn't. One of them has a warranty. One of them doesn't. The warranty will always win. Because not are you in your brain expecting to use the warranty or the claim or the guarantee. But you're actually thinking the quality warrants being able to have the guarantee. Like I said in the beginning, a quality product has to have, uh, or I should say, a warranty has to be a quality product. Or you just don't warranty your items. You know, there is a car company out there that is uh, Hyundai, Hyundai and Kia, the new car companies in the US here. Uh, not new anymore, but this is your new a while ago. Well, their car sales were very low because they were new. They were, you know, jap crap or whatever, and they just weren't, in people's eyes, reliable as an old Chevrolet. So what did they do? Genius. Genius. What did they do? They took that and they said, okay, you buy a car from us because you're just not sure about it. We'll warranty it for 100,000 miles or 10 years. A 10-year warranty on a car? Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. Because guess what? Most people own cars for three to five years. Fact. So you're really warrantying a car for three to five years. Most people have a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty on the drivetrain, big stuff anyway. But basically you're saying our stuff is so great and you can have absolute confidence in it that we will put this warranty in it. And I know people who have bought in vehicles but like, yeah, I'm going to go with them. though. No, it's 10-year warranty. Can't beat that. Boom. Now Hyundai and Kia are huge, huge because of that. Their sales boosted, which means they could create better cars and more higher quality cars. All because of the warranty. The warranty did it. A 10-year warranty on a vehicle is crazy. But sometimes crazy sells. Now, are there out of the... 100,000 cars they sell a year or whatever. I don't know car numbers, throwing numbers out there. Are there a couple that have warranty issues? Are there a lot of them that have warranty issues? Sure, maybe, but there's a lot of them that don't. There's a lot of them that sell to somebody else, right? There's a lot of stuff that's not quite under the warranty when they come in. There's a lot of other stuff and they sold those cars. So having the warranty will create something. It'll make something. I'm telling you. The guarantees are there. Just like warranties. It is uh, uh, very, very uh, good. The roof one is, is, is kind of the questionable one though. You can make your own judgment. Do a two-year warranty if you don't like the four-year or five-year. It doesn't matter. But how you word the warranty. When I go back to a house because of the rain, I, uh, I clean, if it spot streaks or smears any of the windows, we'll come back and touch up any of the windows that it, that it dirtied. That's how we word it. I didn't say I'm coming back to do a whole window cleaning. If a roof in my no streak guarantee, if you see any streaks, moss, or algae, moss, moss or lichens, yeah, streaks, moss, or lichens, how I word it, um, within the five years, we'll come back and treat those areas. I'm not going to redo your roof. How much is the chemical? You guys know. How much the chemical is. You know roof cleaning is like 250 an hour plus. I'm completely okay with going to spend an hour to go run out there, set it up, talk to the person. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it came back so fast. This is crazy. I'm going to go up there and treat it. Treat it again and be done. I spent all of $8 in solution and I'm done. And as roof cleaning becomes more popular, as it becomes something that more people are offering, because right now it's still really pretty new. Um, you now are differentiating yourself from somebody else. We talk about unique selling point quite a bit. And a lot of you still don't have it, which is crazy to me. Which you, This winter, think about it. Your unique selling point. Why somebody chooses you over the next guy. We talked about it. It's not because you clean the best window. That Nobody cares. Nobody cares that you clean the best roof or the best house wash. It's what you do that create that. You make people want to buy you then they won't focus on price. One of the things that I do, why I'm so much better than everybody else, is because I have the guarantees that I do. We have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Of course, we will never leave a property until you're 100% satisfied. We also have a seven-day rain guarantee, meaning that we protect against Mother Nature. We warranty Mother Nature. A lot of people can't say that. You, know? you can use all of those warranties 
on every single thing you tell people. And it is a selling point. You're like, oh, wow, 100% satisfaction guarantee. Oh, wow, seven-day warranty. Wow. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. We have a 100% guarantee that our staff is fully trained. Whatever your warranties are, whatever your guarantees are, putting them out there, every time you give one, they go, ah, ah, ah. They're more and more comfortable each time. And uh, I think it was Kurt Kempton. But if somebody trusts, likes, trusts something and likes you, they'll buy from you. Now I forgot the, the quote. Go back. If you remember it, comment down below. But that's what it is. is As soon as people trust and like you, you're in like Flint. All of a sudden, there isn't a, another one of you. And there isn't. You watching or listening right now, there isn't another one of you. But they don't know that. They don't know if you're a shifty person who's going to take their money and splash and dash. So calming people's nerves, especially the first time, is huge. It puts you out to the other guys. Guess what? If your price is $299, the next guy's price is $299, and the next guy's price is $299, why do they choose you? Well, nobody else has a guarantee. This guy's got full guarantees. This guy, you know, getting into everything else, but your USPs. This guy's got, the guy showed up with a, a, a nice embroidered polo. The guy was clean. The guy was wearing nice, clean khakis. His fingernails were clean. He looked presentable. He wrote up this really nice proposal, gave me insurance certificates. All The other guys wrote it on the back of a napkin. This guy guarantees his work. This guy guarantees against Mother Nature. These are reasons you land jobs. It's reasons that you win over somebody else. And guarantees are that. If you have a better guarantee, definitely, definitely let me know. Because I would love to know. I'm very interested in guarantees in general because... You have to be able to back it up. Now, if you were garbage, if you are just a company, which I know none of you are because you're taking the time to listen to this or watch this. But if you're such a crappy company that you're like, oh gosh, like one in three people are not happy. They never come back. They're just, they don't like what I do. Well, it's time to change things first off. But it's very hard for you to guarantee that if one in three people thinks you're crap and one in three people are going to go off of that guarantee right? You have to be worth something to be able to guarantee yourself. And that's for you to think about too. A lot of times people think about the who's abusing the rules, but it's really the are you worth guaranteeing? And it sets you aside. So it's huge. Go and do guarantees. I'm telling you, they are absolutely awesome. But thanks for watching and listening. Uh, I'm going to give you the uh, plight one more time to please choose me as your uh, sales rep. Shameless plugs, I'm telling you. But this is how I make my cheddar. Um, you know, when you guys order through me, I get credit for that. I don't have a window cleaning company anymore. So this is the sole way that I get paid. No Patreons or anything like that is that I do sales. I'm a product specialist at Window Cleaning Resource. If you're watching this, I would love to be your rep. Love it. Text me. I text all day, every day. Text me and say, yo, Jersey. I was shopping all night. I put everything in my cart. It's good to go. Here's the code. Run it. And I'll verify an address and run the card. It's that easy if we have it on file. It's super, super easy. We also have people who call. If you call and be like, yo, I got to put an order in. You're never, ever, 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 ever annoying me by putting an order in. Even if it's a $20 order. I'm telling you. Every... Order counts. And this month, uh, we are having a competition between all of us salespeople. So I really, really want um, to uh, help you out this month. So please do that. If you want the code, the code this week is going to be, I guarantee it. If you say that, and even like bonus points, if you say it in that, you remember the old chef, the like Bayou chef guy? He'd be like, oh, this is so good, I guarantee Right. If you say it in that Bayou voice, if you're talking to me on the phone, I'm going to give you extra mad props. But uh, yeah, that is the code. You'll get 5% off free shipping and you have to order through me. Now, don't be like the guy who I don't remember his name, who upset me so bad because he just was mean. Just order through me. You call me 862-312-2026. Put the order in through me and um, tell me that code. And we'll go through it. If you're texting, yes, you can just write it down. 
but I do want to hear you say it in that accent. But either way, thanks for everybody. Uh, thanks to everybody for watching. Uh, please do let me uh, help you in any way possible. And until next week, go out there and be epic.